Oh snap, what's up YouTube? It's Spike Man Dan. What's up everybody? Alright, so what what I got going on? I have to update you guys constantly, right? Like I always gotta be telling everybody what to do and stuff. <laughs> Alright, so what 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 we got going on here is uh this is the uh the update video on what in the actual Predator 212 down here. Well, let me go ahead and show you guys. It's got mostly all installed, and like I got the uh, flywheel on the billet aluminum ARC flywheel, the aftermarket carburetor, the aftermarket exhaust. But there is a problem. I kind of messed up. You want to know why? See this bitch? Yeah, that bitch cracked my head. And that's not good. Not good at all. So. Ow! Leg cramp. Ah! Leg cramp. Alright, son of a gun. Ah! Uh, Alright, so. Um. There's a crack somewhere. It's on this, yeah. Deep down inside. Oh, let's see. Can we get light? Can we get some better lighting on this? Seriously. Like this, we need to step up our game here. High-powered flashlight. Alright. There's a crack. Alright, so yeah, you can clearly see there's a huge crack that the uh, Makita impact gun did that is nasty that's no good that's just not gonna work out at all so what I've got coming in the mail Is this oh yeah you guys would probably like to see the stock one too this is to go it's supposed to go underneath those bolts to keep these rods from keeping these things sliding off center to the top it basically keeps everything in line so because this stock one that I've wallered out can't see that I've wallered out with my uh, tool. I don't trust it. I'm not exactly sure where it's going to line up. So, instead of messing around with that, I just bought that. Guide plate free floating. This is the, like, the bee's knees right here, so to speak. It's like tits. Like, just two big giant titties and it's free floating and it works for your um, push rod guide it's it's the best guide plate you can buy for the uh, bucks it comes out to like 30 some bucks after shipping and handling but it's the best shit I saw in somebody's video on YouTube I forgot who it was but yeah anyways I forgot who it was but that guy, I saw that, that the guide plate in his video, and it looked amazing. It fit the AR, the AR, uh, not the AR, yeah, is it? Either way, it fits, according to what I saw in his video, the uh, Chrome Molly push rods, yes. This is going to be dope. When this engine is done, oh my freaking god. 
It's going to be fast. It's got a cam. It's got everything. Every, uh, well, I have the 26 pound valve springs on the head, and I got a new head on the way to replace that cracked bullshit. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, yeah, so this is what's going on. Uh, I just got all these parts, uh, and I'm waiting for all the orders to show up. Y'all gotta be patient, and you're gonna see and hear this thing run very, it's, it's so soon. It's gotta be maybe within probably about a two to three weeks time from now, maybe sooner. Very possible. Just be patient with me, please. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Spike Mandan's YouTube channel. I work for that company. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I know, right? Like, duh. it's it like I work my ass off. <laughs> I really do. You would not believe. It. Just yesterday, and today's the uh, the twelfth. But yesterday, I drove 113 freaking miles in deliveries in a small redneck hicklebilly town. That's ridiculous. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe, people. Sorry to waste your time. Stick around for the uh, upcoming builds of this Predator. Boom. Okay, so we got some good news. The new Predator head arrived, and I'm going to show you guys that here soon. Stick around. All right, so as you can see, I've already got everything taken out of this head that you can see where it busted. It's all nasty. Oh, I cracked that son bitch good. And I took off the 26-pound valve springs. And I switched it over to the new head, of course. Everything's all nice and clean. Ooh, got that nice racing spark plug in there. Yeah, they only make that for the 212, not the uh, stock engine on the CT100U. Sorry to break the bad news to all you CT100 riders out there, but that's just for the 212 that I am just about complete finishing here. Got the Makuni style carburetor. It's not a Makuni, but it is this brand that I ordered from Hot Rod Mini Bike. Still a pretty freaking stout carburetor. Oh, whoops. Don't want to lose those. Make sure those slide back in. So, yeah, getting swifty with it. And then I also on the, the plus side about like this head, it only cost me forty six bucks off of eBay. I've seen others go for a couple hundred, like a hundred and nineteen bucks or something like that. And yeah, I just have a whole gaggle of spare parts. So many spare parts, like anything and everything could go wrong with this engine, and I have backups for days. Rocker arms, valves, springs. I have like three sets of stock push rods, new head bolts. They even gave me new lifters. Look at that. Totally did not even need those and I have all these extra parts. I even went as far as uh, tearing everything off of this head. Like even the exhaust uh there's rods that normally go in here for the exhaust. Oh, wait, no, it's that side. Yeah, this side. I even pulled out these studs off of this head. And then there were, uh, there were steel sleeves that allowed the uh, valves to slide in and out. I had to hammer those out. I literally had to smash and break and get those suckers out of there so that this way... This head is completely ready for recycling. Because you best believe I'm going to try and get some of my money back, right? Like, I have a box full of everything stock. 
that ever came off of any one of these engines. And this is the big old stock flywheel. I weighed myself on a scale. And then I weighed myself on a scale holding this. And there it's actually five pounds, six ounces. Or something of that nature. And the flywheel that's on this engine. That sucker's light as heck. It's like a two pound difference. So that definitely helped you out in racing. Lose as much weight as possible. And you got the uh, chrome ollie push rods. Not the stock steel ones. And turns out... Oh, let's see if I can find it. Oh, hey. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus here. The same website that I ordered the uh, push rod retaining plate, the floater one, is actually the same company that makes these push rods. So, shouldn't be any issues on them fitting exactly. NR Racing. You get that cool little floating retainer valve or push rod plate that's supposed to go in the place of this one. This one sucks. Doesn't even have enough room to fit the uh, chrome ollie push rods. They're too narrow. So, and I still got the stock one that you guys seen. The wallard out one. I was trying to make it fit the chrome ollie push rods, but then... I don't know if I wallered it out too much, and it has to be exact. So it can't be too little and it can't be too much. It's got to be exact, because if I take one of the stock push rods and I put it right in the middle, there's literally like almost no playroom for these things to want to go off center either way. It keeps it. That's the whole point of that plate right there. This plate right here makes sure that the push rods keep the rocker arms top dead center to the valve so that's my little breakdown and of course always if you guys want a free sticker I got new designs coming on the way and just go ahead and send me your email link down below or send me your mailing address to my email link and you guys will get a free sticker guaranteed so far, every single one of my subscribers that have asked for this sticker has received it. Even got confirmation from, um, I think it was, oh shoot, I can't remember his name, but yeah, let's just say that it's safe to say all my subscribers get their stickers. And it doesn't cost you guys nothing. So, with that being said, I hope you guys have a little more patience than what I've been seeing on my subscribers. I've been seeing my subscribers go up, down, up, down, and it's like right now I'm at 292. I'm trying to hit <coughs> as many subscribers as possible because as you all know, February 20th, they're getting rid of all the small guys' as monetization, and uh, I don't want to be a small guy. I want to be like right up there with the big dogs, so if you guys want to free stay, I'm doing what I can. I mean, like, free stickers, making videos, plus I work a job at Pizza Hut, and it's it's not like I have all the time in the world to make these videos, so I work for you guys and myself, like honestly, I'm doing what I can. So again, email link down below if you want a free sticker, send me your mailing address with your name, and you will get one right away. My name is Spike Man Dan, please hit the like and subscribe button. And we will get around to showing you guys the next steps of getting the head back together. As soon as I get that retaining plate for the rods, it should be ready to roll. And that's what, well, that's what we got going on. So stick around for that. Sit down.